All right, hey guys, so yes, I am wearing the same shirt as in my last video. I didn't feel like changing, but I wanted to record another video, so you get another video, so don't complain about my shirt, okay? Okay, anyways, uh, hold on, let me zoom you guys. Hmm. All right, I guess that's good. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I didn't even say this in my last video, but do you guys like my hair? Like, I have like some little, some little, wait, where is that? Some little gold pops of color. My little bees and everything with my blonde hair. But yeah, I got it done for my birthday. My birthday was October 29th, if you guys did not know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm getting off the topic. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video because as you guys seen that we went to Bahamas for my birthday. Um... And we went on a new cruise line. Well, not a new cruise line, but a new cruise line that we never heard of that we never been on either. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to give a review of it because I know we went on our last cruise last year. Um, it was Carnival. We never been on Carnival, but, of, of course, we've heard of it and other people have gotten on it and we've heard it of it, heard about it from them and blah, 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 blah. Um, but, yeah, this was a cruise line that I never heard of. Um, I never heard of anyone getting on it to ask their opinion and yeah, anyways, but how, okay, that's maybe a little rundown. How I came across it was my dad actually, cause he didn't know if I had any plans for my birthday, which I did. I had booked a hotel for us at, uh, what I'm trying to say, at Universal's Cabana Bay, which I was going to vlog for you guys, by the way, but I left my camera. So, yeah, there's that. But if you guys do want a review on that, because that was our first time staying there, um, I'll give you guys a review on that because it was pretty cool. So, yeah, look out for that video if you want to see it. But, um, anyways, so I just had that plan, which wasn't much, but it was something to do for a couple of days for my birthday. But, yeah, he found um, that cruise was actually having, like, a little special sale whatever you want to call it on like Groupon and when I looked it up I was like a two-day cruise to Bahamas for you know such and such a price and I was like wow that's really good so I was like I was all over it because that's a good that was a good price and then why would I not want to go to Bahamas for my birthday so yeah um I booked the cruise and all that stuff um so yeah, basically, I'm just going to give you guys a rundown on like the pros and the cons of the whole thing. I didn't write anything down, so I'm going off of my memory, so bear with me. But um, yeah, so one pro was the price. Like the price was very good for a trip to the Bahamas on a cruise or whatever compared to like how much we paid when we went to Carnival. When we went to Carnival... We did get a balcony though, so I know that is why it was a little bit more. And on this trip, we got just like the regular interior room. Like it didn't have a window or anything. It was just like the regular standard plain Jane room. Um, so yeah, there was that though. But um, And then another thing that I didn't like on this cruise was like the... F not the... Not the ugh. Not necessarily the food, but there wasn't a lot of free food options. Like on Carnival, there was a lot of food options that you could pay for. And there was a lot of food options that were free, that were complimentary. And you could get any time of the day, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they were good too. Here, there wasn't any free food at all that I seen. There was like, the breakfast buffet was free. But it wasn't even that much food. Like it was a, it was a decent, like it was enough amount of food that you can get full off of. But it wasn't a lot. Like the breakfast buffet on Carnival was like really long, and like this was like two little sections. So there was that. The food wasn't bad though. I actually liked this food better than the one that was on Carnival. Far as I can remember, I liked this breakfast food more than the Carnival's, Carnival's breakfast food breakfast food um but um what was I saying but yeah that was like the only thing and then you get like a dinner at like a restaurant for free um 
but there was like five choices of food and the food wasn't even good like it was okay but it wasn't amazing and it wasn't even a lot like you get like a little salisbury like okay what made me mad about this was because like on the menu it says it's like a top sirloin sirloin steak with mashed potatoes and onions and blah, blah blah and that sounds like a really good meal right okay so i thought we get it it's like a little salisbury steak Bay said it reminded him of like the little steaks that you get in like the hungry man tv dinners i never had that i don't even know what it looks like but i can imagine what it looks like and it probably would look like how it looked or tastes like how that one tasted and looked but yeah like that it was like thin and small and yeah, it literally says like Salisbury steak. If y'all know what that is, like, not it's not real steak, like steak. And then the mashed potatoes, they were like, like TV dinner mashed potatoes. They weren't all that. Um, so yeah, I was really mad about that. When on a carnival, like the um, their dinner buffet was good, and they had a lunch buffet and a dinner buffet, and um, yeah, it was good. And then they had like burgers and pizza. And stuff that you could get for free like where on this cruise ship they didn't have any free food that i seen like so we would eat at this like restaurant like this burger place now the burgers they were bomb like you seen in my vlog i showed you guys a picture of it because i had forgot my camera in the room when we were eating it but i had like, a picture of it on my phone like those burgers were bomb. Like, I ain't gonna even front. Like, those burgers were so big and juicy and good. And the fries were good, too. But we had to pay for it. So, I'm like, that's aggravating. And then, um, the room, like, it was, like I said, it was small. But it was, it was whatever, because that's what you paid for. But, like, it was decent. The bathroom, it was decent. Um... One thing I didn't like, though, uh, was, w like, when we got to Bahamas. When we was on Carnival, like, where they drop you off at, you can, like, walk to, like, the shopping areas and the beach and stuff. But here, like, where we was, like, we were, like, basically in the middle of nowhere. And you have to pay to take a taxi into town, which is, like, 30 minutes away, like, 20, 25 minutes away from where we were dropped off at. So that was right there. I already had to spend money to pay for to get taken to the shops. And then we had to, you know, take another one to go to the beach because they were in two different areas. And um, for one, like this shopping area wasn't even as big as the one that we went to before in Car like on Carnival. Like that one was huge. Like it was shops everywhere. But this one was like a little shopping area. We did get stuff, obviously, as you've seen in my previous video. But... It wasn't nowhere near like how big the other one was and then the second thing was there wasn't really a beach like we had to pay to get on the beach like at the other one you know you just walk on the beach like we had to pay um there wasn't a lot but we had to pay five dollars each to get on the beach um so that was aggravating too they did have wi-fi which was cool um on the beach or whatever so that was cool but, yeah, like, it was just, like, you know, spending money back and back and back. So, like, that was one thing I didn't like about this cruise line. Like, yeah, it was cheap to get on there. But there was, like, so many ways that you were, like, your money was adding up. Like, whereas Carnival, we spent that money to get on a cruise. And, like, everything was basically, like, free. Like, we had a, we ate free food. We ate good free food at that. Like, we um, didn't have to pay for no taxi to get taken into town to go shopping and go to the beaches and stuff. Um, obviously you pay for your, your stuff that you buy as far as like souvenirs or whatever. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything was free. But whereas here, yeah, it's cheap to get on, but you literally pay for everything. Like you pay, um, like I said, for the taxi to get into town. You got to pay for your food when you're on the ship. Like what else you had to pay for? Like it was so much other stuff. And then like everything that you get on the cruise, like is how much you pay plus um not tax but plus like what's it like tip and the tip is like 18 percent so you could buy like so there was like a bottle of water that was 450 so i would pay 450 
plus 18% tax on just one bottle of water. Like, what, like, what's the point of that? And then, like, with your, like, your, um, like, with anything you do, though, like, it's a freaking gratuity tip thing, even if they're not doing anything. Like, you know what I mean? Which was just, it was annoying, because, like, that's a lot of extra money that I'm paying out for, you know, whatever. And that was on top of how much they already take out for, like, your tip stuff. Um... For your not your yeah basically your tip like your tip for everybody so like every time you pay for something you get charged that amount plus your tip and then at the end of the like the end of the day like you still get charged a whole amount for a tip for everybody i don't even know if that makes sense but it was a lot of extra money and i ended up spending like a lot of money um on top of you know what i spent on the cruise and stuff so, like, that was just aggravating because it's basically, like, a whole bunch of hidden fees. Like, yeah, it's cheap. It's, like, it seems good because it's, like, cheap when you see it and you're, like, oh, let me get that because that's a good deal. But then it's, like, hidden fees everywhere, I feel. And I didn't like that. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Um, parking. The parking was crazy. I get. I mean, I know we had to pay, like, a good amount for parking when we was at carnival but um i do i don't remember how much it was for carnival but i do know this parking fee was more than carnival's was um yeah i can say that and um what else they didn't they didn't even have a pool like they had a pool but it was like a jacuzzi like that junk was small it's like a small behind pool like literally look like a jacuzzi so i'm like we didn't even get in that um what else i didn't even think of what else um i know like they had room service but the room service on top of your paying what you're getting for on top of the gratuity that they charge to your account you also pay a six dollar um delivery fee on top of that just for you to bring it to my room while we're on the same cruise ship it's a six dollar delivery fee like i do think there was a delivery fee on carnival but i think it was like two or three dollars like so why are y'all charging me six dollars I was like, that was crazy, so we did not get room service. We didn't really need it, but still, the fat dub, if we wanted to, that was a lot of money. Um, they didn't really have any, like, they had activities, but they didn't really have, like, a lot of stuff to do on the cruise ship. Whereas Carnival, like, it was live, like, all the time. Like, the whole time, like, the cruise ship was so lit and fun. There was always something to do. Like, literally, like, literally, there was, like, so much to do on the ship that we didn't have time to do everything. Like, they give you, like, an itinerary every day. Like, they put it on your door or under your door or whatever. And, like, every day, like, they have each time of what time stuff starts and where it's going to be and all that, like, so organized and everything. And, like, there was so much stuff I wanted to do. And I'd be like, damn, I want to do this, but dang, I want to do that too. But they too close in time and... Like, it was so much fun. And, um, but yeah, this, like, they don't really tell you anything of, like, where to go, like, to do stuff or what they're doing or if they're even doing anything. But, um, yeah, like, I mean, I would say, like, if you want to go to Bahamas, it's a good way to go to Bahamas. I'm not going to lie, I would go on it again because, like I said, it's an easy way to get to Bahamas. And who doesn't want to go to Bahamas? um and if you could get it for cheap why not so i would go on there again um i guess if i i would say i guess if i'm desperate for a trip but if i had the money to um like if i had the money then i would definitely just go on carnival over them because i do prefer carnival over uh bahamas paradise like I said, Bahamas Paradise, it wasn't bad. It wasn't anything, like, bad or anything. Um, but I do prefer Carnival over Bahamas Paradise. And I feel like you have a little bit of a more better time in 
you're not not stressed but you're more comfortable if that makes sense too um and speaking of comfortable that was another thing like they like the windows are like i'm not windows like the doors and the walls are like paper thin so like if someone is like walking down the hallway coughing sneezing laughing giggling talking whatever like in your sleep like you're gonna wake up because it sounds so loud like our first night i was so pissed because like we got woke up at like three in the morning um because there was people in the hallway literally like cackling giggling laughing so loud like having the time of their lives in the hallway and we were asleep and we were like so mad because like you could hear everything like everything it was just it was aggravating but yeah so i didn't like that either but, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm going to make this video, like, extra, extra long because it's getting up there. But, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, at the end of the day, I like Carnival over Bahamas Paradise, but Bahamas Paradise wasn't bad. If you really do want to go to Bahamas, it wasn't a bad experience or anything. But if you have the money to do so, I would say go with Carnival. Um, so, yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys. Mwah.